Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Brita Rose. So how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you. So if you're new here, if you like my content, please support my channel. If you have already supported me, thank you so very much for all the love and the support means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so very much. So in the description box, I have my Instagram page link. If you want to follow me there, go ahead and give it a follow. And the decks that I'm using will also be listed in the description box. So the topic for today is the positive changes and surprises coming your way. So you have to choose a chocolate. So we have the orange pink blue brown gold and red chocolate Cho choose a chocolate that calls you intuitively take your time pause the video and then choose and the timestamps will be in the description box and always remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a ma message for you so i will see you in your hello namaste if you have chosen the orange chocolate let's see what positive changes and surprises are coming your way so i will start with the charms here what positive surprises and changes are coming for my lovely group or in chocolate group uh, what i'm seeing is a woman who is in the top of a hill it's like maybe if you have a dream to go to a place where there is like hill and fr uh, you know on the top you want to you know there are like uh, the places where there is hill and the down we see it's so scary but you are someone who wants to go to a place like a top of a hill or something like that or maybe you want to click photos with your partner maybe you're a very adventurous soul that is definitely going to happen for you guys and another thing i feel like is like you are coming to the edge right you're coming to the edge you are claiming your confidence and you're like i want to do this i'm going to do this i'm not going to I'm not going to stop myself because someone else feel like that I'm not good enough, right? Sometimes we stop ourselves because of the fear of criticism, something like that, right? But not anymore. It feels like the orange, you know, the orange, the orange candy is like orange, really all the vitamins that you had inside of you, you didn't use it. The resources that you had inside of you, you didn't use it, but now you're using it to your own advantage and I feel like for some of you this is a change that you are making a positive change that you are making to believe in yourself more to trust in yourself more and you will be surprised by yourself like how how well you can do it you know sometimes because of the fear we don't do it and we don't see the results but once we are like ah, I want to do it I'm going to do it and you see the changes you see the result and you're like yeah I should have done that before but I stopped myself because uh, because of the fear of other people you know sometimes the fear of our parents can also stop us fr from doing some sort of risky things in life right uh, because we sometimes we see ourselves through the eyes of our parents uh, and it can limit us but not anymore you're not seeing yourself as your parents see you maybe sometimes our parents see as the small child that they are limited but now you're not seeing yourself as a limited version of you you're seeing yourself in, as an unlimited version of you and you're like i can do anything that i want right i feel like for that you're making a lot of positive changes you're using your own resources to your own advantage and in this i feel like you will be surprising yourself as well so let's see what the charms have to add Oh wow, look at it. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, you are coming out of other people's limitations and fears. I have seen that in my own life, you know, as when we are kids, when we are children, we sometimes uh, take our parents' words seriously, even though, even though it's not true. And because we don't see them as people who don't know, who can make mistakes. We see them as people, when, when we are particularly young, we don't see them as people who, uh, who can make mistakes. We see them as someone who doesn't make mistakes, who know everything. We don't know everything. They know everything, you know, sometimes. So sometimes we take their limitations uh, and make it our own when it's not even our own. And you're realizing that, you're realizing that, you're cutting away from the, that. And that's what this uh, message is, right? With this lizard, you're regenerating yourself. It feels like a rebirth for you guys. You loving your own personality, you loving yourself. Maybe because, you know, sometimes I feel like as an introvert, uh, I have, I don't know why I'm relating with you guys, you know, but we have two cats as well. And, and as an in, introvert, sometimes we are misunderstood a lot. 
I feel like that. Maybe you're introverts, maybe you're not. But for some of you out there, you know, introverts have been misunderstood. We want our space. That doesn't mean that we don't like people. It's not that. But we have our own personality, right? We we get very drained easily when we are with people. And sometimes people don't understand that. Particularly where I used to uh, grow up, people didn't have any concept of what is introvert or extrovert. Everyone liked extrovert people because they are talkative. And people used to say also, they put the, my mom, mom also sometimes used to say, oh, she looks, look at her, she's like communicating with everyone. And um, yeah, so happy, bubbly, right? But, but when you know i'm just saying my experience because i i feel like maybe you will relate with it and when i used to go somewhere out i used to just sit in silence i didn't you know i didn't talk that much uh you know of course it can be like lack of confidence as well but sometimes uh our personality is also different we might uh, yeah, if we are not comfortable with certain people, we'll not talk. But when we are comfortable, we will talk, right? I used to do that. Uh, so, so yeah, sometimes we are told that our personality is not that great. You should change. You should come out more. So what happens is we try to change. I used to try to change myself a lot. <laughs> and sometimes what happened was uh, when I used to talk at certain places, my mom used to tell me, why are you talking so much now? And when I used to not talk, my mom was, was t telling me like, why you talk, not, don't talk at all, like why you don't talk, right? So my, I feel like when I was young, I really got confused, like when I want to talk, when should I talk, when should I not talk, you know? It's not, it's not because, uh, you know, I'm blaming my mom and all, it's, it's just because she wanted my best in a way, but she didn't realize that's not the way how to do it, you know? She's a very loving mo mom, very kind mom, I have to say that, but you know, sometimes our, our parents also don't know what to do when our personality is so different and the society as expect so many things right so yeah so what happens is the inner child gets confused right and they don't know what to do they start hating themselves in a way they, they feel like oh they are not good enough they are not uh, better like they should be bubbly but we cannot be bubbly we are not maybe sometimes we are not for that right and i feel like here the surprise is like you are not you're not focusing on that anymore. You have like you, you have healed your inner child. You're releasing all that. It doesn't matter to you anymore. Now you are you expressing yourself, being proud of yourself. If you want to be in your shell, you are going to be in your shell. If you want to come out, be adventurous, you're going to do that as well. You know, even though you are introvert, that doesn't mean you cannot be an adventurous soul. Maybe you would like to travel. Maybe you would like to see different places. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting here with these two cats here, right? Again, the mother and the daughter energy is coming here. So for some of you, there is this mother healing that is happening. You know, you, uh, yeah, if there has been any differences with your mother, um, you know, sometimes they don't know. Again, we cannot blame them because they don't know. They don't have information. But now you have and you can just... Um, just let go, you know, forgive them and forgive yourself for feeling like that you are not good enough, right? I feel like that's what is the surprise here element that uh, that now you don't have uh, the feeling like you're not good enough. You're like, I'm good enough. I can do this. You know, you're getting out in, in that way. That's what I feel like you're coming to the edge. And with this mother and daughter, you know, the cat, mother cat and the daughter, uh, you know, young ch cat, I feel like uh, you're releasing all that uh, past that didn't that made you feel like that you're not good enough you know it can be about with father as well with anyone in your life not particularly mother yeah so let's see mm. so what's oh wow look starting over <laughs> interesting right and you have introspection yes you are seeing you're seeing from two sides like yes this person did that but they didn't know that you know sometimes we start to feel like why why i why in my childhood days why i was told like that why i didn't get that you know sometimes we you know when our when we start our journey uh you know it can be anything about anyone i'm i'm resonating with the mother figure here uh and I don't know why I felt like sharing your experience, my experience. Uh, I, yeah, you know, I, I have to say my mother was a <laughs> very lovely mother. I don't know why I'm saying that. She, she used to love me a lot. She used to care for me. But some things uh, where she felt limited, she put it, she did, did put it on me. And it made 
me uh, feel like I'm not confident, I'm not good enough, right? So even without, you know, the mother figure is not realizing that. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here for some of you. Some of you, that's what the strong feeling is, right? Uh, yeah, oh, this is difficult for me right now because I'm sharing um, my personal experience and I don't know. <laughs> But I hope like, you know, whenever I'm doing reading, if something like that comes, it's difficult for me to, you know, express. But at the same time, I feel like maybe this is something that divine wants you to know right now. Maybe that's why it's coming. So again, look, we have the moth and ending here and starting over. So yes, again, with this regeneration, you're not, it feels like many of you have healed your inner child or you're healing, you know, you're getting into a stage where, uh, where you are, your inner child is very balanced now. It's not taking anyone's and anyone's else limitation anymore. It's ended, not your mother's, father's, anyone's, right? Whoever had told you you're not good enough, you're not taking that anymore. You have healed your inner child, and you're becoming the uh, becoming the person you always meant to become. You know, you came to this world with a lot of potential, and now you're releasing all that thing, all that programming. And now you're becoming the version you want to become. You were meant to become this version and you are, you are becoming that because you're releasing all that. You're seeing that very clearly with, with this interception card, right? You're seeing things. Yeah, that's what my, that was my father's doubt in me. It was not my doubt. That was my mother's doubt. That was, that was my partner's doubt, right? Anything it can be, not even, not, not mother, father, any, but I'm particularly getting that parent's energy here. And you're like, yes. And, and, I, I, and I feel like the amazing part is like you will not feel any kind of uh, blame. You will not be blaming your parents. Rather, you will be like, yeah, they didn't know well. They did the mistake. Now, if you have kids, you know what mistake you shouldn't do. How you should raise your kids, right? You know that. What affects a child? You know so much, right? And, and you will be like, I'm thankful for the lesson. Now I know what I shouldn't do, who I am, right? If I didn't know that, you know, if I didn't understand all those things, I would have raised my kids in a way I was raised and uh, sometimes uh, many people continue to do it without realizing uh, yeah uh, that's that's what the energy is yeah uh, I don't know why spirit is <laughs> telling me to share my experience you know when I had my son when he was very young I was continuing how my parents how my parents raised me but in this, as I entered my spiritual journey, I understood that it was wrong and I have changed so much. As a mother, I have changed. And, uh, you know, sometimes I used to feel like I'm not a good mother because, uh, you know, sometimes we are tough on our children. And these are like little innocent beings that we are being tough on. It was, it has been very difficult for me to, you know, sometimes uh, uh, for, to forgive myself when he was a kid. You know, sometimes I, I was really aggressive at that time. I didn't, I was not balanced. But now when I look at it, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's like so far I have come and I'm proud of myself. Like I'm, I'm doing the work, you know, I'm, I'm parenting in a way that's best for him. Like I feel like that and I'm proud of that. And that's what exactly what I feel for you guys. Oh God, this, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, but I feel like... Uh, some of you need to hear this yeah, that's why i said it's very difficult for me to say all these things but you know what when when it's a message now i have uh, you know i have started to honor my intuition and i've started to share it if spirit wants me to share i'm gonna share it right yeah <laughs> okay so yes that's what it is okay so yeah, it's because these experiences make us a better person when we understand. So yes, you were in a, you are in a spiritual journey right now. I feel like you're becoming a better person more and more. And you're not uh, repeating the mistakes that your parents um, m m repeated. You're actually freeing yourself from that. And you're, you're breaking the chain in a way. That's what I feel like. Yeah, That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Uh, Mm. And you, uh, and I, I feel like, and as you're cha cha breaking the chain, you will see more love, light coming your way. Yeah, wow, look, we have the house here. Uh, for some of you, I feel like the surprise will come that you will uh, be relocating somewhere or maybe you will be buying a new house. Um, yeah, 
again again the house the foundation right the foundation the limited beliefs that were that we were given the you know the values that we that we were given sometimes it's not for our own good right and you're real, realizing it and you're freeing yourself from those values that doesn't do any good to your soul and you're breaking free from it and you're re relocating right and you know and you're you're learning new belief system that really enrich you and your soul or you and your, your soul and your children's soul your partner's soul whatever it is right so that's what the message is here for some of you if you want a new home i feel like there is a surprise coming if you want a particular home you will be getting the best home uh, and i even feel like if you're someone who does work from home i see there is uh, if things have not been that great with your self-employment the change is happening uh, and you will be seeing seeing more growth in your self-employment journey here that's what the message is here yeah uh, so let's see more rhythms wow look again grounded groundedness nature and earth you got the key guys i feel like you know the key mystery moving forward knowledge the key is that only about your inner child you're healing something uh, from your childhood and that's the game changer for you guys you will understand that i feel like already you are understanding and that's why i was feeling like sharing my experience a lot <laughs> yeah I, I don't know maybe spirit wanted me to do that oh it's like i'm i'm a very private person i have to say that and it's really difficult for me to be this vulnerable i hope you understand <laughs> you know it's really difficult for me but uh, i'm really you know I don't know, I'm now doubting whether I should post this or not, but I will do that. Uh, yeah, anyways. So again, rhythms, uh, groundedness, nature, earth, here with this number 44. Maybe you're seeing a lot of 444. So again, the stability, you know, the foundation, the foundation, right? When we, it, when we are being built on a foundation that is uh, that is not that great, we collapse, right? But now you're changing your foundation, your values, you're learning new values. That is the best for you. Now, now for you and your family, it's the best. Whatever you're doing is the best because you're healing your inner child and you're understanding everything in life is like rhythms, right? Yes, uh, that past is over. Now this is the present. And, and as I work on my present journey, as I become more comf comfortable with myself, right? My future is going to be beautiful here. So yes, uh, so again, I feel like if there has been some sort of decrease in your life, if you've seen some sort of decrease, I feel like you're getting a second chance. It's regenerating like the self-employment part. If there has been a uh, slowness, I feel like that's changing for you guys and things are moving forward. Again, connecting with Mother Earth Gaia will be a very beneficial thing to do. For some of you, the key is the knowledge is with your inner child. You are connecting with your inner child. Your inner child is giving you messages and that's how you're healing your past and you're starting over, right? Because you are uh, introspecting a lot of things here. And a lot of things is balancing and I feel like as you move forward, as you're balancing your inner child, your relationship, if you had a like, little bit of rocky relationship with your mother, the relationship with your mother is also going to blossom. And again, I feel like with your kids if you had the same parenting style that your you you ha your parents had with you you are changing it you are understanding it now your parenting style is different and now you will be seeing your children and you coming together um like there is a lot of love there is a lot of light because you have healed that inner child it can be with anything it can be with your partner right just um I gave my example uh, as for me it was like <laughs> I felt like mom, it was the healing journey it has to happen with mother my mother right um, and uh, for you guys it can be with uh, your spouse even you know I feel like you di didn't even realize that this relationship needed healing uh, but now it's healing yeah I, I, I yeah I hope it's making sense oh my god <laughs> let's see Let's see. I feel like you will be finally balancing your inner child 
and that joyful side of yours is going to come out. That's the surprising element. The real you is going to come out. It's not afraid anymore to, you know, you're not afraid to uh, bring that real you outside. You know, you have been afraid, so you kind of stop yourself from bringing the real you. That's the thing. That's the surprising factor. That's the change here. Now you are bringing that inner child, like the real you out in front of anyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> So let's see. Oh, I didn't. I didn't feel like this reading would be this <laughs> this powerful, right? Because I was feeling like this is a surprise video. Is it going to be light? It's not light. Oh, so let's see. Okay, you have. Oh wow! Look again. The house in the four of wands. Again, your own stability, feeling grounded, feeling stable within yourself. You're not up and down with your own energy, not doubting yourself, being strong with yourself, like feeling like, yes, I'm good enough and I can make things work for, work out for me. Yes, I'm a good mother. Yes, I'm a good spouse. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's that feeling where now you can show your authentic side. You're not afraid to show your authentic side because you're feeling stable from inside. You're feeling secure from inside. You're feeling safe from inside here. That's what it is. That's that's the four of uh, one's energy here, right? And once we feel uh, safe from inside, the outer is also uh, also safe, right? The house that, you know, the house, we have a house inside of us, right? And uh, our body, you know, that's what it is. Like the house inside of us is feeling safe now. So whatever we do outside is going to be safe because we have the house again, right? Yeah. So again, the values, all is changing. And you're becoming a confident version here. You're using your resources to your advantage here. Okay, so what one, I, uh, one card on the floor, let me take it. Okay. Wow, look again. Look, a job well done, joy, contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. Look, looking, seeing things very, very clearly, forgiving people, understanding that they didn't know. There is no use of blaming, understanding what you need to change, how you need to balance things with the skewn of earth. Right, you understanding a lot of things, learning from your mistakes, and Archangel Michael presence is very strong for you guys. He's helping you in this journey. You're not alone, and I feel like traveling is also there because when I started your reading, I feel like a person who was on the top of the hill, uh, not afraid, you know, not afraid to be in the top of the hill, right? And they, uh, and it feels like they are very happy within themselves. That that's the surprise here. You will be happy in your own body, the way you look. You are accepting yourself. And so happy with your own life. That's what I'm getting here. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, so let's see the final message here. Oh, wow. Look again. The family. Look. One thing I have to say that as you are showing your authentic side, people are actually coming together. As I told, your relationship with your mother is healing. It's actually becoming more better, best. And as you heal, you're, you know, maybe you will be having those conversations about your childhood with your mother and your mother will understand a lot of things. She will also work towards it. You will also work towards it. And both of them, uh, like your your. Uh, yeah, both there is understanding. I feel like once there was no understanding, but now there, uh, you know, your parents, uh, everyone is understanding, and things are coming together. Right, uh, right. Again, look, everyone has different face, different colors, different people. Right, at the same time, we are connected with our own heart, isn't it? So again, that connection is coming very strong here. Uh, for some of you with this family and this house, I, did I mention like self-employment? Maybe you're finding people of uh, your your soul tribe where they will be, um, yeah, they will be, uh, they will be inspiring you. You will be inspiring them. Uh, both of them will be getting the same energy. Uh, yeah. So you 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 are finding your soul tribe as well. That is also something I'm seeing here. But it's more about I feel like uh, relationships improving for you guys. And as your as your relationship with your inner child is improving uh, as you are becoming your authentic version you're seeing the outer relationships are also becoming more beautiful more strong um yeah you're meeting your tribe meeting your people and if there was some certain differences you're understanding what, what what they have went through you can have that compassion 
to other people and they're also understanding what they did was wrong and they're also releasing that you know the uh, relationships are uh, regenerating in a way that's what the surprise is that's the change here now moving forward you will be seeing uh, you will be in healthy relationships because your your relationship with yourself is so healthy that you're going to only manifest healthy relationships that's what that's what the message is and whenever there is some sort of people who are not good you will be doing that introce introception right and if it's not good for you you will be ending that relationship you will not be staying here when you meet new people i feel like that if someone is not giving you that stability that you want you're just going to let them go Oh, yeah, that's what the message is. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a very uh, powerful message. Um, yeah, I hope it made sense. Um, and if it doesn't, doesn't make sense, I feel like it's not your reading. Uh, and yeah, I hope, uh, I hope it you know gave you some sort of understanding anyways uh, so that's all i have for you guys uh, rope orange hope it made sense hope it resonated i will see you soon bye bye so if you have chosen the pink uh, chocolate let's see what are the positive changes and surprises coming your way i'm seeing a safety pin here so maybe for some of you you will be letting go of something that you thought it's very important to you guys and the surprise is that when you let go of it you will not feel heavy rather you will be feeling very 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 calm like feeling like yeah it, it went out of my life now i'm happy you you even have thought that without this thing you cannot live but once it's gone you're like yeah the message notification once it's gone it's it's like you're, you're okay, you're okay. And that's the surprising thing. And it's a positive change. Maybe you don't feel like it, but it's definitely a positive thing. So some sort of attachment that you have, you're letting it go. And it's actually making you feel good, not feel bad. Yeah, this can be like that, you know. Uh, I'm getting this uh, energy of someone who smokes. And uh, yeah, when, when they are addicted to that, uh, when, once they start letting go of it, they might feel like they cannot live without it. But as you're working on it, as you're letting go of it, you are seeing that your life improving. You're feeling good without it. You can operate without it. Like that's the energy. You are attached to this thing. Finally, it's gone. It's a positive change. But at that time, you didn't feel like it. And it's like surprising to you guys. Oh my God, without this thing, life is so good. I'm feeling good. My health is so good. I never thought like that, right? That's what the energy is. So let's see the pink chocolate group. What is the positive changes and surprises? Oh yeah, look. We have the books. We have, again, look at the... Uh, the gun here protection right and we have the peacock the book peacock and the gun the book peacock and the gun <laughs> so again the book you you're getting some information on how you don't have to be attached to things in order to gain that thing so for some of you it can be your attachment to making money and you're seeing the more you're attached to money, the less it comes and you're getting some information and you're applying it. You're like, you're getting, you're reading a book and you're getting this information like we got to let go of, we got to, rest, uh, you know, we, we got to let go of this thing. And once we start letting go of that feeling of making more money, more money and money is not coming. Rather, we're just enjoying a process. We are seeing that we are attracting like a peacock. We're not chasing. And you're seeing that there is this increase in money. You're feeling safe, you're feeling protected and there is increase. Yes, something you're letting go of. And as you let go, you're seeing good things happening. You never thought that it will happen. You thought you have to uh, get attached to it. You had to, you have to just keep, uh, you know, put, put, uh, don't, you don't have to give them space. Then only it will work. But no, once you're letting go of it, things are actually coming to you. That's what the positive changes. Again, this can be with people as well, right? You, you might be so attached to this person. You are like, oh my God, if I don't talk to this person every day, I don't uh, help them. They will just uh, get out of my uh, uh, how, uh, my way. I don't want to do that. I'm attached to this person. So you every day give them a lot of time. 
effort, you put so much of effort and things doesn't work out. And then you are like, let me just let go of it. Uh, I will do what's best for me. And then you don't give that much attention to this person. And then you're seeing that this person is coming towards you. That's what that the thing is. Clearly, that's what I feel like here. Yeah, you're not chasing anymore. You're attracting. So maybe for some of you, this can be you journaling. You started uh, journaling recently and that's changing your uh, mindset. And that's why though you know, you're letting go of certain um, attachments. For some of you, it can be reading a book and applying that knowledge. You know, maybe for some of you, you know already uh, all those things. But sometimes there has to go a switch in our brain in order to change that. And that switch is going on. <laughs> that's what it feels like. You know, for me also, sometimes we know every uh, everything you know almost we know something but at the same time that deep knowingness doesn't occur some days and you know sometimes when this deep knowingness comes then that is when the switch gets on right and yes i feel like that's what is happening here and that's changing your life for the best for some of you money mindset your money mindset is definitely changing and that's bringing more wealth here yeah you thought that you had to chase, but no, you're like, no, I don't have to chase anymore. And once you stop chasing, you attract that thing. That's what it is. So let's see what else for the pink group. Positive changes. Okay. You have the devotion <clears throat> and you have the strength. Yes. Yeah, you're devoting yourself to this thing. Rather than being disciplined, you're devoting. There is two major, you know, I feel like there is a difference between devotion and uh, discipline. You're disciplined your mind and like I don't have to, you know, I'm getting the example of someone who is smoking cigarettes, right? And they are like disciplining themselves. They're, yeah, they're very hard on themselves. They're disciplining every day, but it's not working out, right? They lose their strength and they get back to the habit. Now what is happening is like they're devoting it. Devotion means when we uh, love something, like, yes, this is my life. I want to make my life. So you're devoting yourself to health. You're devoting your well-being. Like you're working on your well-being. You're devoting, uh, yeah, to the to yourself, right? You're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself. And, and as you devote yourself, you're seeing that your strength is increasing. You have the stamina. You have the strength to let go of this habit that is not good for you. And that's what the positive change is here. Instead of disciplining, that is tough. Because in your brain, discipline means tough. But once it changes to devotion, it's like it's not tough. It's devotion, right? I like this thing. For example, if a person loves loves biology, right? And a person hates biology. So they have to pass the examination, right? I don't know why I saw, said biology anyways. Uh, that's the example that's popping up. And these two people are different. Like one, one person is disciplining them. I have to read at this time, at this time, nine to 10. Uh, I will be studying biology. So I have to pick, you know, it's, it's tough, but I can do it, right? But the other person is like, I'm going to devote my time, right? I'm just going to sit whenever I feel like sitting with biology. And then they just devote and they just like the, what they are studying and they're taking the information and it's easy for them but the person who's like disciplining like they're trying so hard and it's not sometimes it works sometimes it works definitely it works but sometimes it doesn't right it takes a lot of strength here it's like without any strength you're doing it like again a person who is stopping their habit to smoke a cigarette they're devoting for their they're devoting to their health to their well-being rather than just we're disciplining them to not smoke cigarettes they're devoting their their uh their uh, to their health and then they're seeing that they're they're not attached to that thing they're gaining that strength they don't want it even though they see it they don't want it they don't care about it and and that's the positive change here yeah that's what it is that's what it is yeah okay pink um chocolate that's what the positive change and surprises let's see it you know please res, uh, put you know this is just an example that i'm giving um, res, you know you it will resonate for everyone in a different way so what what you feel just apply that okay so let's see yeah again you know i have seen uh, i have seen uh, like uh, i don't know antlers like they, they drop you know it, it sheds and it's such an easy process to shed like that something that was you thought is was very tough it's easy now yeah something that you were so attached to you thought that you cannot live without it you can live it live without it easily and it's bringing a lot of positive changes into your life 
Yes, that's what the message is here for the pink. Yeah, look again, you're devoting to it. Devotion, the more you're devoting, the more things are opening for you guys. The more you are not attached to it, the more you are deattaching, more things are pouring into your life. Your heart is open and you're seeing that as you're devoting to your health, your well-being, taking care of yourself. You're seeing that the person who you were attached to, trying so hard, they're coming towards you. That's what it is. That's what it is. You loving yourself, taking care of your well-being, devoting, uh, devoting to yourself. It feels like devoting to yourself, and that's uh, that's helping you to become a better person. That's uh, that's making you more strong. The inner strength is increasing. I feel like that, and that's how people. If you are if you are chasing a relationship, like if you want to be uh, in a relationship and you're single, now you're not chasing the relationship. Rather, you're working on yourself. You're giving that love. You're devoting yourself. You're changing your habits. You're uh, you're changing your mentality. Your mind sets you're not over protecting yourself you're not under protecting yourself there is this balance here uh, and that's how this new love for some of you this new love can be in a form of passion for some of you this can be people coming your way uh, and again this is like your heart is opening and you're feeling so happy your heart is balanced your heart chakra is balanced now you're receiving whatever you wanted to receive and you will be understanding the surprise here is the positive change and surprise here is you are understanding that chasing 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 is not going to give me anything it didn't give me once i stopped chasing i attracted like because once i stopped chasing i didn't put that heavy energy rather i wanted it i devoted myself i did that uh, that that did that work and uh, I'm receiving and, a, and a other example that I'm getting here uh, I don't know why I'm feeling like saying this I'm gonna say a person who is addicted to uh, like uh, losing weight they go every day gym four to five hours then also they don't see results once they let go of that once they have a good mindset once they're not so hard on themselves once they start loving themselves eat healthy and then they lo they're losing weight easily like that's what the energy is here yeah you will be letting go of something that has been heavy yeah and it will yeah you thought that you cannot live without this thing and uh, again with this you know the antlers they drop the antlers so yeah sometimes we got to drop something when it's time we cannot hold on to things and you're dropping it and it's actually making you happy yeah like that's what the positive change and surprises for my pink chocolate group let's see what else a pink chocolate group oh yeah <clears throat> yes awakening i didn't i mention the light bulb yeah sometimes the switch has to go out and that that switch going on is making you change certain things in your life and as you change those things you're seeing things flowing easily towards you that's what the message is here yes attraction beginning newness community yes that's the thing you're changing your way you're changing your thinking you're not you, yeah again it feels like you're not like again a person who feels like they're not protected so they carry the gun, gun all the time and they're like looking for people who will who will uh, harm them but at the same time now they're like no one will harm me why people will harm me and you're not so um so all uh, you know you're not on the guard always you're letting go and you're enjoying your life and you're seeing that you're protected and everything is flowing good you're not in this uh in this uh mode where you have to be looking at people all the time who is going to harm me like that's what the energy is like over safety over protection now like you're not doing that you're protecting yourself but you're not doing anything over you're not attached to it and that's leading to this new beginning here that's what i'm getting very very strongly for pink group here yeah let's see what is the positive change and surprise coming your way Oh yeah, look, you're shedding, look again, the devil energy, you're shedding that. You're shedding that. You know, some, for some of you, it's your ego that you're shedding. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. That's what you're letting go of. And as you're letting go of, you're seeing that your life is becoming more and more amazing. You're loving life. You're enjoying life. You're not uh, over-focused on anything, material things or position. You're not addicted to anything. Rather than you are enjoying life. That's what the surprise is here. So something is shedding here. Some sort of false... Uh, yeah, maybe for some of you, you felt like having this job. This position will give you that kind of... Um, high high vibes so you chase that position you got that position then you were not happy right and then you thought you have to get into the next position now 
now you are in the space where you're like no i don't have to get into this next position to feel worthy or to feel happy i can be in this position and feel happy that's what you're doing you're changing something something is going to click click and as it clicks this ego ego whatever it is stopping you from experiencing good things and a better life you will be able to let go of it and i feel like you'll be, you're becoming much more positive and a lot of habits I did i didn't i mention a habit a smoking addiction that's what you're leaving behind here and that devil came so yeah because devil talks about obsession a uh, devil talks about addictions right so yeah feeling entrapped even though we are not negativity over overly focused on protection oh uh, yeah a sense of a uh, sense of feeling like someone will harm me you know that all things you're letting go of that that's what i'm getting here something is going to switch on for you guys and it will make your heart very very happy it will be now life i feel like life will be little easy and you will be seeing like how i was attached to this thing and because of this thing life was so tough and once i let go of it life is so easy right and that's that's the feeling you will be having yeah look 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 we have the full energy and you have the justice card three major arcana this is a big thing for you guys okay this is not a small thing this is a big thing you know again um uh, yeah I, i you know when once i saw a video where uh, you know people were talking about how their addiction stopped from uh, living a better life now they are out of this addictions how happy they are uh, yeah how balanced they are how life is good right uh so yeah that's what is happening look again from this false entrapment interesting these two people are the same people isn't it <laughs> look at it uh, there is an angel guiding you and you're seeing that like your angel is giving you messages finally you're seeing it right and you are and the uh, look again look, this looks like the same person isn't it and now they don't have the mask though they don't have the mask they have uh, they are out of this mask and they are like yes now they trust themselves they feel like they can attract they don't have to chase anything they don't have to get addicted to anything they don't have to uh yeah they don't they don't have to carry their past with them like they can be themselves enjoy their life and have everything they want right so that's what it is like a person who has been addicted um to certain things holding holding certain things tightly to a person who is not holding anything tightly because fool is like that fool doesn't carry heavy burdens they are in their own energy enjoying life to cool and chill and they know that uh, they are in the present moment enjoying their life they know that better better things will come and they are just enjoying their journey and you're becoming that because and again you have this dog protecting you right <laughs> so yeah wow that's what the feeling is for some of you definitely you will be letting go of an habit or an addiction and you will be finding yourself so much happy without that addiction or habit and you will be feeling like your mental health is balanced your physical health is balanced you're feeling fair you're feeling good uh yeah you're not a feeling uh, you're not feeling that someone else is controlling rather you're feeling in control in charge of your own life uh that's that's what the strong message is here right yes now you have the saw and you're cutting away all that uh, yeah you're letting go of you're cutting away something that is not good for you and that's giving you a lot of balance yeah wow that's beautiful message though so let's see the final message for my pink chocolate group um yeah final message for my pink chocolate group look in your truth oh look yeah completion uh, you uh, you were trying so hard to complete something to let go of something right maybe a habit that you were trying so hard to let go of but didn't it didn't but once you're getting devoted to this thing you're seeing that you're you're you're, you're actually be able to get rid of that addiction and you now this is a new beginning with this completion and the dream or a new life again we have this newness here new life new way of living life new way of thinking because you're connected to your inner heart more and more and more because you are uh, letting go of that falseness everything you're letting go of that ego mind and now you're connecting with your own intuition your own heart you're seeing that such a beautiful way of living life right the wisdom of the heart insight clarity purity intuitive knowing consciousness penetrating illusion right again the illusion is gone and you're able to see the truth for what it is and it's amazing it's making you happy 
so that's what the message is for my pink chocolate group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye take care so for my blue chocolate group let's see what is the message what positive positive surprises and changes are coming over with my blue chocolate group I heard wish. So some of your wish might be a wish coming true. Oh, like oh look, 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 look. For some of you, this is a wish regarding love that is coming true for you guys. It's going to be a little slow, or maybe you're feeling this is going very slow. That wish is definitely coming true for you guys. Maybe for some of you with this bird. Like again, uh, look, the sea turtle is upside down, right? So when the turtle is upside down, they cannot move forward, right? Maybe for some of you right now, you're feeling like that. This wish of yours to have this person is like this. Well, that's going to change because we are talking about positive changes and surprises. So what we have to do is to just turn the turtle around so that they can move, right? So for some of you, that's what is happening. This is regarding love. Some Maybe it's like something that you love is moving very slowly. Or maybe this is about a person because we have this bird so maybe maybe you want to communicate with someone you want to um, know them you want to move forward uh, with this relationship but things have been stuck for a while now yeah something that 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 is uh, you know it's about love because with this spoon I feel like it's about love um, yeah maybe this is, can be a friendship that is stuck or it can be more about something that you do really love maybe this is music that you want to create maybe there has been some sort of uh, problems things are not moving that what is changing for you guys here so that because we have this two music charms and for me music charms is like list, uh, what our heart says the music of our own soul and here there has been this stuckness where you were not feeling like you were moving forward finally because we are talking about positive changes and surprises so that is going to move forward yes it might not uh, move forward very quickly but you will be seeing signs that that's moving forward right so yeah again the spoon is about love so this is something that you love this can be about a person right you want to talk to someone maybe you have a crush on someone and things have been a little bit up and down you don't know how to talk to them there has been problems or maybe when a you try to approach this person uh, things don't go your way and you have been feeling stuck but that's changing for you guys that's what the positive surprise is maybe you will be getting a lucky break here for some of you maybe you yeah maybe this person will come and talk to you that will be a lucky break or maybe for some of you that is you know something that you do i um that you love to do things are moving forward maybe someone will communicate and give you some sort of offer yes again this offer will come but it's not going to move very fast it will take its time but it's um it will make you happy right again this person might talk to you but the next moment you were not going to be in a relationship right you will take your time things will go move forward slowly but surely but you will definitely feel lucky right yes that's what it is so for my blue chocolate group, what's the message? What is the positive surprises and changes? Okay. Oh, we have the Ram and Dahlia determination. You're determined, but things have not been moving forward, right? And you have stagnation. Yes, again, the lizard and the picture plant stagnation. That's what you're overcoming. And again, I feel like that even though things have not been moving forward, you haven't given up on this thing. So again, this is your passion that you are working on. It's not moving forward. Things have not been that great. Things have been stuck, but you didn't lose your determination. And that's uh, that's something, uh, you know, uh, being appreciated by your angel spirit guys that you didn't give up on this thing because it makes you happy. You know that this is for you. So that, that determination has been appreciated here, okay? Hmm. And the, this determination is going to pay off. And with this bird, maybe for some of you, there is a message from your angels that you will be receiving soon. Maybe it's your intuitive knowing that you need to be in this place at that, like, at that time. Please trust that inner knowing, honor that inner knowing and do that, okay? So maybe you feel like I need to go to a cafe at this time. Maybe when you will go to that cafe, who knows, you might meet someone, right? Or maybe uh, when you go to that cafe, uh, you will be able to see the crush and you will have be able to have a conversation that you wanted to have. Uh, so this is an area in your life where you have been stagnant, that's for sure. And you, have, But you have been you had that determination like you were very aggressive with this like ah, I want to make it I'm not going to let it go I want it I want it right but it was very stagnant finally that stagnancy is changing 
and it will it will happen in a way that you least expect it that's why it's going to um surprise you okay so let's see uh, yeah because yeah this is one of your wishes i feel like that that's very close to your heart i i even feel like for some of you this can be like a small wish like i want to talk to this person i want to communicate with this person for other people it can be like with your passion but yeah it's like you want a uh, one step you want to get one step ahead that's all you were wishing for right and that's that's happening here and so you have a uh, old man and you have a uh, horse here <laughs> interesting we have this old man inheritance and mail and we have freedom action again this feels like a person who is a little bit alone feeling alone not not seeing that the uh, flyer flies interesting these two cards have that right the, you know it feels like like in the dark there is like light and you were not feeling that kind of light you were feeling hopeless here i feel like that but you were determined you were determined to find that thing and exactly that's what is coming there is action happening like from the sea turtle to the horse right there is action happening that's what i'm getting here so again you might have felt like you don't have that power to accomplish this thing maybe you you know for some of you you even felt like you are out of this person's league that they will not communicate with you or something like that you felt like that you're not that great enough or good enough but you were determined you you felt like that you know in your heart you felt like this that this person i can have a relationship with this person maybe not love but at least i can be their friends something like that you felt and finally i feel like that that's happening and so it will free you from your stre stress that's what i'm getting here free you from your stress and you will be able to move forward with this relationship or this something that is been very close to your heart again this can be something that you want to work uh, you want to move forward but feeling very stagnant again this feels like this old man doesn't have that much health right again the horse has a lot of health uh, so yeah where you didn't feel healthy you're getting that health right again where you didn't feel the way you're shown the way uh, yeah that's what the change is here for some of you and this can be with uh, some sort of inheritance issues as well maybe financial issues as well now that's going to resolve and you will be seeing more money coming your way so you will have more freedom and you will be able to travel somewhere you wanted to travel so maybe for some of you that is what it is uh, maybe you want to travel somewhere but someone was coming in between their health was coming in between maybe you felt restricted something like that something was stuck maybe you planned again and again and again but there was some issues that out of your control and you were not able to make it but finally that issue will be resolved even though there was issues you were determined that i will do this i will have i will make this make this dream of mine come true you know that it will happen uh, yeah you you felt like that it was meant for me and i will make it happen but finally it's it's coming true yes you will be able to do that if if it's with the travel definitely there has been some stagnation things are moving forward you will be able to move forward with this dream of yours for some of you financial independence is also something i'm getting here if that is what you want that's happening maybe you were dependent on someone but finally you will be free from that dependency and you will be able to uh, move forward in a way that makes you happy that gives you love right yeah so let's see more uh, for my blue chocolate group positive change and surprises Oh yeah look we have the dreaming and conflict <laughs> yes again these two things like you have been dreaming for something again there has been some sort of issues again maybe this old man can be a person who is coming in between your dreams right maybe this is a old man not only old man a person that is coming in between your dreams there has been some sort of disagreements maybe in your work right you want to do your work in a specific way and uh, this is what your dream is but they are coming in between and telling you do this this way this this way and you're determined no 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 i'm not going to do this way so that's why there is this stagnancy because you're not continuing to work right in a workplace where you have an idea right you have an idea you want to work it this way and you're very determined that this is the best way because this is uh, the way you have way you feel like it's going to work out right and then someone else is coming in between uh, you know putting their legs and telling you you should change the plan you should work it this way that way and you're like no 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 i don't want to do it that way right again the sea turtle upside down it can be that so there is this conflict conflict right yes 
yeah there is something that you want to achieve and there has been some conflicts and this conflict is going to get out of your life the stuckness that's what this conflict uh, you know the conflict with this person has created some sort of stuckness like a project you are working on a project the conflict with this person has uh, made this pro project to be stuck to be stagnant now you cannot move forward until this this conflict is resolved right and here with this horse and old man uh, i feel like the conflict will end and you will be able to do it in a way that makes you happy so the stuckness is going to go away here so again this can be conflict with your parents um, about your travel where you have to go they might be coming in your way somehow some way or maybe this can be because of finances some sort of conflict is there that's why you're not able to do it but that's with this butterfly that's changing here and you will be able to do it in a way that makes you really happy yeah or maybe again for some of you this can be talking to your crush and there has been some sort of um, conflict conflict inside of you right that i'm not worthy i'm not good enough and it's coming in between your dream and you will be resolving that as well yeah you will be able to let go of that as well so yeah whatever it is i feel like you're you'll be getting out of the stagnation so there has some sort of conflicts that's going to end because we have the number 28 and it reduces to number 10 again this conflict whatever it is coming in between your freedom it is coming in between uh, taking action as well now because of the stagnant this conflict you're not able to take action on your dreams you're not able to move forward with your dreams but you're determined you want this thing and it will happen okay so this uh, this sort of uh, conflict with a person or with a boss or uh, with uh, someone yeah or with yourself maybe this is a conflict with your own self right you are ending it and you're moving forward with great potential with this horse Yes, that's what I'm getting here. So what the tarot has to add, let's see, for the blue, blue chocolate group. What are the positive changes and surprises from my blue chocolate group? Okay, yeah, uh, we have five of arrow. This can be definitely a conflict with other people because they want to win, right? Again, there is like the, you know, the spoon also, came like this right again or this can be conflict with yourself as well you know it can be like you making up scenarios that this is not possible for me i'm not good enough and it can hurt you right your own words can hurt you other people's words can hurt you that can be the conflict or your own word can be hurt, can hurt you and that's why you're not taking action you're not moving forward <sighs> yeah there has been the stuckness and i even i feel like you will be able to overcome this thing this conflict will be overcome the stagnant period will be gone and you will be able to move forward you will be able to move forward there is some sort of solution coming your way yeah look we have this four of water again this is your energy you feel like you miss something things will not come but as i told trust your inner knowing and do what you feel like because you will be meeting the correct people at the correct time so don't let this uh, disappointment make you feel like you cannot trust your own heart okay this is just a small step setback and you will come out of it so be determined yeah so let's see the final message for my blue chocolate group okay you have yeah the arousing look at the thunder right i i even feel like one thing you need to take control of is your anger otherwise um things will become more bad if you don't take control of your anger yeah things can end badly so please uh, let go of the anger um yeah i feel like sometimes our anger you know when we are very angry we do we make stupid decisions and let don't let your anger decide anything when you are just balanced that only makes a decision okay yeah with this that, that you know the lightning that's what i'm getting here uh, and again uh, so for some of you this uh, this can be your inner knowing like like suddenly you feel like yeah i need to t t go to this cafe or i need to go to this place please trust that inner knowing and take action because that can change a lot of things that can bring you out of the stagnant period and, I, and that will be a surprise here yeah so that's one thing i'm seeing here very very clearly for you guys but please uh, work on your anger uh, because anger is not going to resolve anything uh, so whenever you're communicating with people 
be balanced as much if they are angry that's not your issue okay you need to be balanced here and don't engage in conversation that take your uh, soul out of you and let go of that kind of conversations okay so that's what i'm getting here for my blue chocolate group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so for my brown chocolate viewers if, if you have chosen the brown chocolate let's see what is the message what is the positive changes and surprises coming your way so let me start with your charms here I feel like I heard the word heaven and I'm getting like you can create the heaven on earth here for some of you yes you can create your heaven on earth oh my god look we have the cat we have the uh, Horus eye and you have this uh, spectacle um, and you have this uh, mirror your intuition and we have this uh, musical instrument as well and with this cross symbol what I'm have say what I can say very very clearly that your intuition is guiding you, you can trust it you can trust the soul you can trust the, your heart, the music of your soul right now. Whatever you are going through, my lovely brown chocolate viewers, right? If you have chosen that. The thing is, uh, once you trust your intuition and take action, right? It will bring a lot of positive changes and it will also also will surprise you like how your intuition has always been so strong right but with this fish i feel like sometimes you don't trust your intuition you know once you get an idea you like things think thing and you just go get into this loophole of overthinking and then you miss the whole uh, message here your what your intuition wants to tell you you kind of miss it and you because of the stress that you have right so please let go of the stress the more you will trust your intuition the more your intuition is going to surprise you with good Think positive changes will happen once you start trusting your intuition here and I even feel like you will see that how your thoughts are magnetic so so maybe for some of you, you will be getting your manifestations very fast and you will see that how powerful your thoughts are so like that that is also there so right now i feel like the message here is the more you trust your intuition the more positive changes and surprises will come your way you're very intuitive you can trust yourself your own inner self maybe for some of you in the com coming time there will be some sort of uh, uh, understanding regarding yourself some sort of habits that you need to let go of one habit for sure is like the fish going from one thought to another one thought to another one thought to another and that habit needs to go the more you work on that habit the more you let go of that habit you will be able to understand your intuition very very clearly because your intuition is very strong with all these charms that's what i'm getting here and your intuition protects you so please trust it so let go of that fearful thoughts and trust your intuition because the more you trust your intuition, the more goodness comes. So you trusting your intuition, making that change will bring a lot of good things into your life. You are powerful manifestors as well. So one of the surprising things will be you seeing your manifestations coming very fast. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Once you start believing in your manifestations, once you let go of this worry based energy, you will see how fast your manifestation comes. With this eye horrors, your thoughts are magnetic, guys. Uh, that's what the message is <laughs> and you can see things very very clearly for some of you <laughs> i even feel like that you know you can avoid certain people who are not good for you guys uh, by trusting your intuition you will not have to waste uh, time and you will be correct about them that's something is going to be surprising like yes i knew it that this person is not good and at that time you might not have any ev evidence so trust it. Trusting is a little hard because that's why you, that's when you go into this loop of overthinking. What if I'm just making it in my head? What if I'm just assuming these things about this person, right? So I feel like uh, you will be not doubting yourself and trusting yourself, and then you will be seeing. Yes, this person was not good. Maybe that later you you will get information. Yes, this person is not good. Thank God, and you will be like, yeah, thank God. I just let go of this person and trusted my intuition. Yeah. So let's see what is the brown your your intuition is so much stronger maybe you're not realizing it but uh, more you trust it the more you will be surprised by your own intuition healing wow yeah so yeah yeah again this is what it is maybe you know in your childhood people you know are you know sometimes our uh, teachers don't uh, let us imagine things you know when particularly when we are young um we are not uh, 
told to Im imagine a lot of things, right? We are not told to trust our own heart. Sometimes it becomes too logical and um, and I feel like you're finally healing it and you're able to trust your intuition more and more and more. And the more you trust your intuition, the more goodness is coming your way. So you're nurturing your intuition. You're taking care of your intuition. You're listening to your heart and you're trusting it finally. And that's the game changer for you guys. Uh, yeah, that's bringing a lot of positive changes and you're seeing your, you making better decisions. Now you can see things very clearly now because you're seeing from your third eye. You're not Ill, you're not an illusion anymore. You're seeing the truth and you're uh, you're you're realizing that my intuition is speaking to me very clearly and I should trust it. And as I trust, more goodness comes my way. So I feel like your intuition is the more you trust your intuition, the more happy time happy life you are going to have. So let's see. You will be seeing the one of the surprise is like you will be seeing your intuition being very uh, correct about things you will be very correct about things that's one thing i feel like you're healing that thing metamorphosis yeah finally from not trusting your intuition to trusting your intuition <laughs> fine yeah yeah that's what is healing here with this metamorphosis you're walking away you will be able to walk away from people that are not good for you you will not have to go through that experiences uh, again because now you're trusting your intuition and that's causing a positive shift in your life now you're not wasting time on people uh, because you didn't trust your intuition before now you're trusting it and you're not wasting your time on people places situations that is not good for you you're just hopping away and that's changing your life for the best right so yeah you trusting your intuition you're healing something and you're finally acknowledging your intuition you're trusting your intuition you're you I, I feel like you're living you're going to live a life based on uh, trusting your intuition <laughs> intuitive flow I, I'm getting that yeah so and that's that's a game changer and yeah wow beautiful i feel like this is going to be a lifestyle where you trust your intuition and make changes regarding that and you will be seeing how your life is more uh good like more happy more positive yeah yeah so that's what i'm getting here yeah you're going to go with the flow you know it's steady movement i'm getting you're not going to go very fast with this slowly but surely you will start trusting then you will then it will be this flow you will be in this flow trusting then to uh, your intuition decoding the signs from the universe being very observant yeah so yeah that's what it is so let's see uh, you have the gate yeah this is your new beginning you're opening the gate to your own heart that's what it is right so again listening to your own heart is changing your life for the best yes again this thing was in you every time right every time <laughs> It was within you, right? Your intuition yeah, it speaks to you very, very clearly. But when you were young, maybe people told, Do, don't listen to that, listen to this. You know, that's why our intuition gets clouded and we don't trust our own heart. We are programmed like that. But finally, now you're coming back to it, coming back to your own home, coming back to your own heart, right? With this as, um, mirror, you're loving yourself, you're taking care of your well-being and you're moving away from the people that are not good for you. And that's why you're becoming like the blo lotus blossoming yeah you're healing healing uh, you know yeah maybe for some of you didn't believe in your own decisions you believe in believed in other people's decision now you're believing in yourself you're trusting your intuition yeah let's see what else for my brown chocolate group yeah wow with the moon interesting look that's what again this this whole card is the confirmation. It's about your intuition because Moon is intuitive. Um, she can see what we can't see. <laughs> and you are also like that. You can see what others can't see. And now you're trusting yourself, your own heart. And 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 beautiful positive changes are happening. So uh, use Moon cycles to your advantage. Uh, you, you know, manifest using your moon cycles you will be seeing your manifestations coming you will be seeing the power of the moon as well that will also surprise you i feel like that okay so cycles so for some of you yes listening to your own inner self is coming and that's why you are getting out of the cycle where you felt like felt like you don't have control over your fear now you're taking control over your over your fear you're understanding this is my fear and i need to let go of and yeah that's what it is so more on a, i feel like you're going to live a lifestyle more based on spirituality listening to your intuition uh, yeah even though you're not going to be very spiritual i feel like you will be having a, this intuitive approach to things 
trusting your intuition but i really feel like this group is spiritual i can you know because we have the eye horrors we have the cat we have the uh, spectacles we have this reflection like the mirror right you can see what's best for you you can see what's not best for you you can see the good in other people as well as you can see the evil as well right so you know what what needs attention what doesn't needs your attention where you need to focus what where you don't need to focus so that's beautiful here right yeah so i have to take this oh again look the deer energy is coming here right the deer and the oat and we had this deer as well here right again uh, that animal group is coming very very um uh too much for you guys so maybe check the uh uh your uh, animal spirit uh, uh spiritual meaning and again duos are very nurturing right they are the nurturers they are the nurture people so again this mother kind of energy so mother mothering your own intuition loving your own intuition nurturing your own intuition and once you start doing it you will be able to plan ahead for yourself based on your intuition and that will give you amazing results so be prepared to be surprised by your own intuition because when you start trusting yourself when you start planning and preparing based on intuition you will be seeing good things coming your way and it will lead to positive changes in your life here yes wow that's beautiful so keep nurturing your intuition here i feel like taking one more card from here oh uh, yeah so we have the winning yes look look that's the thing look we have this hermit kind of energy the owl trusting your intuition sitting in silence trusting your intuition planning this is what i want to do this is what i want to do this is what my heart tells me this feels right so i'm going to do this and as you do it you will see that success coming your way success coming your way because you're not going to deal with people who are not good for you right you know who uh, where you need to nurture where you need to put your uh, nurturing energy where you have to take a step set uh, take a step back and that's why you're winning you're getting good outcomes this planning preparation based on your intuition you're getting good outcomes you're getting your manifestations come true so for this group working with moon cycles trusting your intuition will bring amazing results and that's the surprise here so have a intuitive based approach i feel like trust your life go with the intuitive flow uh, do what your heart tells you because you're in touch with your intuition i have to say that there is no doubt we got the moon energy we got the deer deers also nurturing yourself loving yourself listening to your own heart that's all the confirmation here yeah oh my god she is also very intuitive queen of air she is so focused she knows her intuition is strong and true and so she is not letting anyone come in between her dreams so she knows that this is what she's planning and she's going to go ahead she is not not allowing anyone else to play with her own dream goals she is very much uh caring for her uh her dreams right she has this boundary and once she focuses herself on something she is going to gather results and that's what i see here for you guys yeah so let's see again the decision making planning ahead making decision based on intuition is going to give you amazing results and you will be surprised by how uh your intuition can uh yeah give you this amazing life trusting your intuition can give you this amazing life uh, life yeah we have the moon again oh my god this is the same thing same thing right you're releasing the fear of uh, you know you had this fear what if uh, i trust my heart and i make wrong decisions not anymore you're letting go of it you're changing that and you're trusting your heart and you're seeing that uh seeing the success again look we have the six of fire and the temperance here <laughs> you're getting out of this five of earth energy you know the stuckness you know going from one thought to the you know lack mindset sometimes when we are uh, you know thinking uh, in fear right we go from one fearful thought to another 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 but once we uh, take a step back and once we start trusting our own heart we listen to our intuition we have a lot of strength right we, because we're trusting our intuition we're taking action and we are balancing ourselves and we see the victory again the six of fire the winning you are go going to win the game you're trusting your intuition making your decision not allowing anyone to mess with your uh, dreams you're uh, having you're setting the boundaries you're not even messing with your own dreams you're not allowing your fears to mess with your dreams you're by you having that emotional boundary and uh, yeah and you're trusting your uh, uh, intuition you're trusting yourself more and not letting your fears come in between i feel like for some of you with this queen of air you're letting go of your own worry based energy you're planning ahead and you're winning you're winning you're winning you're winning <laughs> i have to say that again and again because we have this winning and six of fire so yes trust your intuition take trust your intuition take action because 
and be very focused on your plants trust your intuition because this will lead to a vict victorious outcome <laughs> so let's see what else for my lovelies uh, brown chocolate group. okay we have splitting apart and we have the creative yes again look at things were splitting apart Sometimes for some of you, this is like things have to split apart. So you can really trust your intuition. Sometimes people have to go away from our life so we can focus on our intuition and trust ourselves more and more and more. So I feel like you will be letting go of a lot of people, uh, places, situations that are not good for you. And you are going to look with this hand, you know what's best for you and you're creating a life that you want. Trusting your intuition, being in the flow, trusting, making decisions that's good, good for you. And putting the energy out right and the more you put the energy out the more you win you're balancing you're balancing where you need to let go you're letting go of and where you need to um, put energy you're putting the energy as well you're not wasting your energy on your fear anymore and the, that change and you you the change that you're making I feel like is listening to your intuition more letting go of your fear yeah, that death was like letting go of the old surrendering, letting go of that and focusing on the things that you want to grow. Again, with this yang, like the queen of, uh, she is not focused on anyone else, only on her own goals, dreams, desires, people, places that will give her benefit, that will give her the victory. And you're becoming like that, right? And the more you become like that, the victorious outcomes are coming here for you guys, right? So that's what I feel like here. Uh, that's the message for my brown chocolate group. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it didn't, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So if you have chosen the gold chocolate, let's see what is the message for you guys. Positive change and surprises coming your way. And as I started your reading, the image that I've been shown is, is a train that is moving forward in full speed. Okay, going right and it's it's in the process of reaching their destination here and i'm seeing on a horse as well and it's very fast so something fast is happening for you guys uh, yeah that's what the uh, energy i'm getting here so let's see with the charms and the cards so positive changes and surprises for the viewers who have selected the chocolate gold chocolate okay Okay. oh wow we have the star <laughs> uh, yeah your wishes are protected safe oh we have this bird carrying a four leaf clover so definitely uh, news regarding something positive is going to happen something um, something good about your wishes something that you've been wishing for you're seeing that things are moving forward um, yeah you're on the right direction you're uh, uh, you're on the right path again the star star is there again we have the sea, starfish and we have the star as well two stars so you are going correct you are again this can be about your regarding your stability security because i'm getting the second house energy second house energy deals with the stability you know finances material gains everything like that and i feel like here one message about uh, maybe for some of you are right on track with your stability security whatever it is Again, with, with this gun also here, I'm feeling the energy of wealth, right? Protection, like your, your, wherever you're going right now, it's safe. Even if you're traveling, even if you're moving forward with your, um, with your career, you know, maybe you're setting on a new direction and maybe there is a little bit of feeling like fearful feeling whether I'm safe or not, protected or not, whether I'm the right direction or not. Yes, you are correct. You're going correct right direction. Don't worry. Don't waste your energy on these worries. Please repair that. Uh, because this uh, you're protected your happiness is protected with this flowers in this protection right your happiness is protected wherever you're leading you will be reaching your destination there is this uh, good news coming for you guys regarding your stability security your house your finances your uh, relationship your everything is safe and protected with this angels and this uh, you know the gun the gun protects so yes everything is safe and protected you're right on track you're right on direction uh, so that's what the message is here uh, and there is a good news that will make you really happy that's coming regarding your family regarding your stability regarding your finances or maybe regarding your job maybe there is a surprise happening maybe there is a bonus maybe there is a promotion with some of you hmm. maybe you're making extra money so yeah that's what it is for some of you, if you're traveling and if you're uh, 
can, uh, you know, if you're traveling, if you have to move somewhere and whether you're confused or a little bit fearful whether this is the right decision or not, this is the right decision. It will give you a lot of happiness. Okay, so if you're making a move, don't worry. It will be a good move. So let's see what else. Maybe for some of you, you will have to move somewhere. That is a surprise. And, that, and as you move, you will be safe and protected. And this move will actually be very beneficial for your relationship for your uh, career yes you're very intelligent people we have the crow, crow and the dogwood intelligence your crows are very intelligent right and you're also very intelligent so yes don't doubt your own uh, path because you're good on track you know where you're going what's leading you know you have a plan so you many of you this is a wish that you want you want to make it happen you're working towards it right and yes there is this good news coming here your intelligence is going to pay off. Wherever you're putting your effort, it's going to pay off. You're good on track. You're right on track here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. And again, the dog would, you know, dog, the energy of dog is also here. Um, uh, loyalty, protection, you're protected, you're secure, you're safe. This just, wherever you're heading, it's safe, it's secure. Your wishes are safe and secure. Don't worry, that's what the message is here. You're intelligent you people and whatever you have, you're doing it's going to lead to a lot of productivity so maybe you have made a decision and you're like confused whether this is the right de decision or not whether it's going to give me the abundance whether it is a productive decision or not whether this will work out or not it's going to 100 percent work out in your favor and you will be so happy <laughs> yeah don't doubt yes look again didn't i mention a train moving forward a horse moving at fast uh, pace and you have this hair and awk uh, you know opportunities are lining for you guys you are so intelligent many many people will want to work with you so if you are getting a lot of opportunity take your time be use your intelligent and only give your attention to the opportunity that you feel is best and if you have already taken uh, taken a step towards an opportunity if you have accepted an opportunity you are going correct you are right on track uh, whatever you have selected is going to give you that productivity, everything, right? Yes, you're protected, you've been watched, you've been uh, watched by your angels and they are protecting you, giving you the correct information at the correct time. So yes, don't worry, don't worry guys, okay, you're right on track. Maybe you need to hear that and whatever decisions you're making, it's the correct decision, you're right at track, you're the right place at the right time. That's what your uh, positive uh, surprise is that you will be finding yourself with the right place at the right time look new opportunities we have the gate opportunity new home for some of you you're moving to a new home uh, maybe you're uh, moving to a new country maybe you're new, maybe you're making plans to move to this new country your new job whatever it is it's going to give you a lot of uh, good luck here this will this move that you're making or you're planning to make or maybe this is a move that will come your way that is going to be a surprise um, maybe relocation is going to be a surprise maybe change of uh, workplace is going to be a surprise but whatever it is it's it is going to bring more growth more opportunities and more freedom and uh, yeah and where you will be utilizing your skills very well so yes oh wow we have the house again wow so for some of you movement is there surprise movement changing of homes <laughs> maybe you don't know that maybe you don't know right now and um, yes uh, <laughs> maybe you want to relocate this is just a dream that you have and it's going to happen that wish is going to come true if you want to relocate you want to go to a new country you want to relocate to a new place that's definitely happening and this place is going to give you more opportunities more that's the surprising part you're re relocating to a place where you will get more opportunities, more safety, uh, more well-being. And this is a place where you will be thriving here. Yes, you're right on track with whatever it is. Uh, again, this is a move that is coming your way. For some of you, this is going to be a surprise. This is going to be the change. This is going to be positive change, relocation. For some of you, if you don't have a home and you're finding new home or you want to move to a new home you are going to find the correct home at the correct place and you will be very happy you will feel very lucky here so yes definitely gate and house for some of you this is a new home that's coming that will be very stable because maybe you like stability and we have the taurus energy as well so stable secure a relationship stable secure home um, a career that is stable and secure a business that is stable and secure it can be anything but definitely whatever decisions you're making it's the correct decision here so don't wor get worried 
So let's see what else. <clears throat> wow, we have a rabbit again. Maybe rabbit is your animal spirit. And again, rabbit movement, right? It brings good luck as well. It's a good omen here, right? So again, you're very, very, very intelligent people here, you guys. You're making better decisions, best decisions. You, whatever decisions you make, you're making best decisions. So right now, universe is giving you a lot of science and synchronicity. So be more observant here, okay? <clears throat> That's what it is. Maybe universe will be surprising you with a lot of science and synchronicities. That is also something I'm seeing here. So trust your intuition. Make that jump leap of faith whenever you feel like you need to make because your intuition is guiding you you're very intelligent and the safe safety that you want this promotion that you want is coming here this relocation that you want or maybe you have made a decision and um, and you are a little bit worried about what if this decision will lead you to destination or not don't get worried you're right on track with that okay so let's see you're very intelligent people okay use your intelligence to your own good you are intelligent you're very observant as well so what do you feel trust it and you will be surprised by your own intelligence in a way i feel like that your decisions will give you good rewards here so trust it trust your yourself here so let's see if you feel like you're not intelligent that's just the bs you're, you're telling you because you are intelligent you're very, very intelligent view, viewers. That's something you need to know. Wow, we have the queen of fire, but there's a lot of cards I'll not be taking. But yes, you are the queen of fire. You are the independent, wise, intuitive. Uh, uh, who you, you are? For some of you, you will be in spotlight as well. Your work will be in spotlight as well. Uh, yeah, for some of you, you you will be at, at being attracted. You are very attractive and many people will be attracted to you guys. Many people will be observing you. Many people's uh, eyes will be on you or maybe on your work, whatever it is. Yes, we have the night. Oh, you're right on direction. You have planned, prepare. You're going well. You're going well. Don't worry. And this will lead to happiness only. I feel like that. Whatever this move is, it's going to lead to happiness only. You will get your wishes come true as well. Oh my God. So we have the Emperor, I'm going to take that only. We have Archangel Michael as well. So yes, you're safe, you're protected. And again, our Emperor, you're going to be up in your game, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're the leaders. Whatever this is, for some of you, there is this promotion that is waiting for you guys. A uh, very good, uh, uh, very good high position. Maybe for some of you, this is your spouse getting a high position in their work. Maybe uh, their work needs some changes. So you are, will be going somewhere else and it will lead to a lot of happiness and more opportunities for you as well. Yeah. You're very intelligent. Again, the emperor is very intelligent, structured. It's, uh, yeah. And you're that, you're that person. <laughs> So tap into your own uh, qualities, guys. You're so much more than you uh, think, right? You're so much more talented than you uh, think about yourself. Uh, so we have the world. Wow. Again, Archangel Michael. Again, Archangel Michael here. Wow. So, uh, whew. so this move is very safe. Very, uh, very safe move that you're making. You're right on track. That was, that is what it is. It is. So for some of you, there is a move uh, you're making, or maybe you don't know right now that you will be changing locations. That is a surprise here. That is a change. This is going to be a very positive change. Maybe you will be leaving somewhere else, not the place you're living currently. You will be moving from that place. Maybe for some of you, like no, I will not move. But there is this surprise factor here. There is this is lead. This is leading to positive changes with this Archangel Michael and Ar you know Archangel Michael, the Emperor and the World, both Archangel Michael. He's 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 with you. That's the surprising thing. His energy is, uh, is all around you. He's the one. Like this wings, I feel like he's the one. Maybe you connect with him. Uh, and definitely, Archangel Michael's presence is very very strong in your reading. So whatever you are doing right now. It's going to work out in your favor. The outcome is going to be in your favor. That's one thing. And there is, a, if you don't know if about a move, if you feel like you will not relocate, that's that's the surprising thing. A positive change, is, uh, a change is there for some of you through your spouse. You will be moving. For others, it's in your job that the, that will require some movement, and you will be in a different different country. I feel like that will be moving places, states, or country. But this place that you will be moving, it will give you so much of good opportunities, good people, a good community uh, where you will be thriving. That's what the surprise is here. Yeah, maybe the surprise is not coming very soon with this night of earth. 
uh, right now you're going wherever you need to go but the surprise is maybe in one year you will not be staying where you're uh, staying now for some of you this will be fast but for other people it will happen in one year right or in nine months with this nine here nine to one year i'm getting here or maybe you have a plan you want to shift somewhere you want to go but you don't know where to go it is all going to open up because you're right keep doing whatever you're doing right now because things are opening up for you guys archangel michael is there showing you the way you are the emperor you are intelligent you will make correct decisions nothing is going to go away you will have that standard of leaving that you want right now uh, you will have more actually more you will get not uh, less you're not going to have you know for some of you there was uh, a fear like what if i move from here to here what if uh, i'll not get that kind of stability or money that's not true you will get more not less so i will just uh, because i'm feeling the energy of archangel michael so strongly for you guys uh, so i would say this prayer um i always say this in my reading and i love this prayer and i feel like it works it works beautifully because when i started uh, you know doing these kinds of prayer it has changed my life in a very good way so yeah so i'll just say that i believe that archangel michael is hard at work behind the scenes guiding me protecting me and showering me with prosperity love and wealth uh, wealth and health okay so i'll say that again i believe that archangel michael is hard at work behind the scenes guiding me protecting me and showering me with prosperity love and health so yeah i would recommend you to ch uh, chant this because his presence is very strong for you guys so let's see the final message here there is some sort of move definitely if you're not seeing that's coming but ah uh, yeah things are going to change for you guys things are not going to be the same for you guys keep on doing whatever you're doing because things are going to change yes yeah, just a matter of time things are definitely changing you the you know again the places the place that you will be living uh, you know where you're going to uh, go and stay that will be so much different from uh, the place that you stay now maybe the climate is also going to be very different uh, yeah so yeah so one more uh, look again the word stability is very strong so whatever this is it's going to give you a lot of stability maybe you are you're right now you're not staying in an area where there is a lot of mountains maybe you will be staying uh, staying in a place where there is mountains that is also there uh, we have pushing upward like look again steady progress gaining confidence accepting challenges promotion promotion giving receiving recognition yes that's why there is this up level i'm seeing here you up leveling up in every area of your life not only in your career but i see family wise also there is this uh, upward movement and again place wise you will be going to a place where you will get in, get a lot of opportunity meet good people there is move good move okay yeah so maybe you don't know where you want to go now you don't know which place you want to go but the answers will be coming so right now you're right on track keep going because more things are going to happen in a way that will surprise you yeah maybe the place that you're moving right now you don't have idea that you will be moving to this place so that's a surprise here but yeah for everyone it's going to be different but definitely this will bring more stability security so so yeah so that's all i have for group number uh, no for the gold chocolate group hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so oh, if you have chosen the red color chocolate let's see what is the message for you guys positive changes and surprises coming your way i will start with the charms and the cards i'm tasting some sort of medicine a, a weird feeling i never i never felt like that but i have to say that it's not a uh, yeah different taste i don't know what taste is it it's weird okay so let's start okay mm. oh wow you're in the hands of the universe oh changes we are talking about changes and we get the pig and we have this aeroplane and we have this rabbit that is making an announcement here wow your some 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 sort of movement some sort of changes are happening for some of you this is you making an announcement regarding something 
that I'm changing this place, I'm moving somewhere else. Or maybe this is you reaching a milestone that you always wanted to reach. And if it's an announcement that is, your, uh, that is uh, about uh, some sort of changes that you're making, you will be safe and protected. This is very nurturing, like with this tear and with this uh, rose. Uh, whatever this changes it is it is it is going to make your heart very happy okay so yeah so there is definitely some sort of changes positive movement that is coming your way and i feel like you will be very happy to announce this thing so that is the surprise here so with this pig as well it's like a flying pig <laughs> so definitely there is change here and with this aeroplane for some of you relocation changes in place for other people this is spiritual development maybe moving forward you know, if you were feeling like uh, you need to move forward in some area of your life and there was no movement, that area of your life you will be seeing growth, movement and finally you will reach a milestone there uh, and you will be announcing that. Okay, so yeah, again, you know, it can be like, for example, in your business you're stuck things are not moving forward this is something that you really really love and finally you're seeing things have working out for you many many clients are coming things are selling out very fast and you will be announcing something some sort of uh, you reaching a milestone right something like that so yeah so red chocolate viewers what is the surprise here for you guys changes good changes here movement wow we have healing wounds the badger and ginkgo again you're with this ginkgo you know i feel like you're in touch with divine you're co-creating with divine and that's why you're seeing the magic right now you're in the stage where you're healing a lot of your past and that's why there has been a little bit stuckness but now only i feel like you're already seeing movement uh, i i feel like you're already seeing a little bit of movement you're not stuck because you have been healing and now i see things are moving at a faster space a speed you cannot even anticipate the speed. The speed is going to be so fast. Something that you have been working on, right? I even feel like maybe this is a thing that you have been working on years. Like you have been working on your business for years, right? You wanted to this. Uh, you wanted to reach this level of success for years. You have been working on it. You have been healing all the things one by one by one. You have been doing the healing work on yourself. You have been improving yourself. Now finally, you're getting the success. It might feel like an overnight success. Uh, but uh, is it overnight success? Not really because you have been working so hard for this thing. So what I'm getting like the surprise is like an overnight success for many of you. You know again the social media maybe you have been creating content for many many years but finally you've been discovered. Movement, fast paced energy right? That's what I'm getting here. And yes it has not been an easy journey for you guys because there has been a lot of a lot of a lot of obstacles, a lot of setbacks, but you didn't give up. You healed what needed to be healed, and now your uh, your consciousness, like you are you are connected to divine. You're co-creating with the universe. You have learned so much. Yes, that's what I'm getting here. We have the quail and gooseberry anticipation <laughs> yes you have been anticipating for it you have been patient about it this is something that you really 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 desired and now it's taking off now it's taking off so fast that's what i have to say it has been a very very slow moving journey for you guys right it has been very slow you have been picking up one by one by one you have been being very patient with uh, yourself with others right you have been cultivating patience in your life you have been healing yourself it's been a very big journey a very slow moving journey stuckness you have might you might have seen setbacks but finally finally now you can anticipate this thing because it's happening i feel like you have anticipated this all for many times you might have been visualizing this thing right one is on the floor let me take it wait a second yeah flowers mm -hmm. so again sweetness romance for some of you this can be romance this can be you wanting a partner not happening hap happening finally you're meeting someone and the relationship is taking off in six months you're married right you meet this person know this person and in six months time you're married like that's the energy here you were healing you were, you were in this healing journey that's why it was not the right time you were anticipating to get into a relationship but you were patient you you understood a lot of things you worked on your self-worth now you're only uh, attracting the person who's good for you and that's why the relationship will take on very fast uh, yeah your life will change because of it for others it can be with your career with your milestone anything right but that, that's the energy here 
so let's see what else here wow ocean here oh distance johnny <laughs> again you have been sad look at the sadness and female old woman maybe you have even thought that i will be single when i will be old you know maybe you have thought that as well right um but you you always felt like i'm just in this healing journey after one after one 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 only healing only healing then when will i get the results right it has been on a big journey for you guys it's like an ocean that you try to swim but you never reach the other side you might have felt like this you might have even felt will this journey even get me to the destination or it's full of patience only right now also maybe you feel like that right but lately i feel like there has been some shift a little bit of shift is there so for some of you who are particularly single maybe you feel like you will end up single right but that's not the case here i really feel like that you will be moving forward there is this journey coming a beautiful loving relationship is coming for that maybe you will be moving to a different country with this person but this is going to be an amazing journey and the reason is because you have healed something right you're going to attract a partner that will give you what you want right so yes a beautiful journey uh, again the distance you wanted to reach the destination you were trying you were trying but you never reached it finally you're reaching the destination and you're going to smell the roses and you you will get all the sweetness that you want so yes you're reaching a milestone definitely that's coming here this has made you sad as well this has made you feel left out you, you might have felt alone because you didn't have this thing but you were constantly working on your healing journey you have been constantly working on your spirituality you have been trying to make a uh, you know trying to build that connection with the divine and yes you have been anticipating for this thing for a while and finally you're getting it yes that's what it is you have been nurturing yourself you have been healing yourself finally now the time is ripe and you're getting what you want yes look we have the unraveled puzzle right again uh, the last piece of the puzzle you're getting it look again if you look adventure you know you're <laughs> you're getting to this wish of yours finally this just jump is happening you have been waiting for that jump something was an obstacle for you guys right something was a puzzle like when this will happen finally you're getting that last puzzle piece solution and now you know exactly what you need to do as you do that you're getting aware whatever you want so yeah that's what it is so you're jumping you're yeah it's like when things where things were very slow slow now you're making this jump here yeah you're at the end of a chapter you're beginning a new chapter here where you will have this milestone that you were trying so hard to get out of it a chapter that was uh, like you were learning the same lessons now you have learned the lessons now you're out of it this is a new beginning for you guys where you where you have this wish that you wanted yeah so let's see what else for my brown chocolate group what is this surprise Okay, you guys, things moving forward, okay? We have this Knight of Fire, Knight of Wands energy, definitely. <laughs> the things were stuck. You had this fire energy in you. You tried to move forward, but things didn't happen, right? There was something missing. There was something missing. And you know that something is missing. And if I get this, I will reach there. And you're finally getting the puzzle piece. You're understanding the full picture and moving forward. And as you move forward with it, you're, you're, not, you're, you're not even running. You're like... Uh, from one timeline to another time like jumping this is a big jump that is happening yeah things are going to move very fast for you guys yeah yeah this thing where things have been a little very slow like I, I told big jump is happening here that's what the surprise is Wow, we have Archangel Michael here for you guys also, Archangel Michael. Oh my God, are you someone who came from this group, uh, the gold group? Because these two cards came out at that time also, the emperor and the world. And again, the Mar Archangel Michael, mm, yeah, yeah, you're getting this wish come true of yours, guys, because a chapter is completely completing. I did mention a new chapter, a beginning of a new chapter here. Uh, and this new chapter where you will be in your own position, your own throne. Uh, yes, you are the CEO of this company. Whatever it is, you will be seeing yourself in a high position here. This will bring a lot of joy in your life. Again, as I told, a milestone. You are achieving a milestone. You're getting the puzzle piece, right? Now you're getting, you, you're getting whatever you wanted. So this can be an award that you wanted. Whatever it is, you were aiming for something. Now you're getting that thing. 
So as these two cards came out for the other group, I will take more. I don't know. I feel like taking more for you guys. Oh, wow. Look, six of air. And you have the Kino, a queen of... Uh, oh my God. This is a wish of yours from a very long time. From a very long time, you wanted this thing. You wanted this position. And you were a little bit confused because you didn't have all the all the answers right there was something that was missing finally you're getting your all your answers and you know you have been visualizing this wish you have you wanted this thing very very yeah you wanted a thing to happen again i will go give an example of a business owner who has been working on their business and they have been working um, you know they have been healing their inner child they have been focused on their goals they, they have been visualizing but things were not happening right you didn't make it but finally you're getting the puzzle piece something that was missing in your childhood you're getting the full picture and you're applying it and you're seeing that things happening very quickly again this is a you know the look again if you look at this um, unicorn is moving very fast like right? they're running so something that was very stuck uh, yes it's moving fast very fast yes wow so that's what it is you reaching a milestone this is one of your wishes that you haven't focused on for a very long time so let's see final message here changes positive changes and surprises so oh look we have an increase here <laughs> so something that you want oh my god again meeting your people many many people will like your services many yeah if you have a community more people are coming here so that's why you're able to reach a milestone yes that's what it is that's what it is yeah for some of you meeting good people again this you know you were look again this phase you were focused on your dreams you were focused on your own healing but whatever you did whatever you did it didn't work out because something was missing finally you're getting the puzzle piece and you're you're getting the full picture and you're working on it now you're making this jump huge jump but this whole journey has made you so strong made you understand more about yourself and because of it you have healed so much right and now you're attracting your soul tribe you're attracting your people the people who will recognize your worth give you what's best right good relationships good people your community right you're building your community that's what it is yeah so i'll take one more i don't know why i feel like taking one more card for you guys so what it is final message for my red chocolate group development yes that's the thing development progress gradual progress continuity slowly but surely adaptability and time honored approach yes but here again the development word i'm seeing slowly but surely it has been very slow right very slow but you know that this is what for you and you just did stick to it now there is this progress that you're seeing here i feel like this pro progress is going to happen very fast here you're getting you're reaching a milestone that's what it is because you have been on this healing journey. This whole path has changed you as a person. You have evolved, you have grown, you have understood so much, so much, and there is something that was missing you will be understanding in the near future. And that's why with this uh, world card, you will be completing a chapter and, you're, and this new chapter is beginning where you will have this milestone of yours. That's what the message is for my red chocolate group. Hope it made sense, hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.